second quarter, Laurie was a killer for you? Um, a home game for you. I get everybody just lifted whenever uh, something went your guys, mate. Yeah, that's right. Like, like Laurie said, it, this concept will be around for a long time. You could see it in the crowd and... Um, a lot of people turned up today, tonight, and um, it's better we couldn't get the win, but um, in the bigger picture, like Laurie said, you know, we're making a difference for, uh, you know, our next generation. How do you feel pulling on that jersey, JT? I'm oh, very proud. It's um, like, you know, it's all about our next generation and, uh, you know, getting them to make, you know, better choices to uh, become leaders in their own community, and, um, and that's what it's all about. So uh, yeah, it's, it's very proud to be wearing this jersey and honour too. They said they um, yeah, best way for them to show respect to you is to play fair and flat out. And they did that tonight. Did they not play good work? Yeah, so. yeah, that's right. It's um, look, if it, you can't take these games uh, lightheartedly. Um, that's when injuries and stuff happen, and I can't fault the boys. Look, they they turned up um, all night. Um, you know, we just turned over a bit too much ball and. You know, when you've got Benji and Lockie and, and Smithy on the one side, you, you, you just can't do that. So, But, you know, in the bigger picture, it's all about the week leading into the game. And I thought, you know, our boys handled it very well. JT, what this game means for you guys on the jersey and everything, I would think that the loss would hurt you more. But is that... Oh, look, you know, no one likes losing. You know, I certainly hate losing. And, um, you know, to lose in this jersey is disappointing. But, like, you know, we've said... Uh, you know, the bigger picture here is for our next generation and, and making a difference in their lives. And, you know, that's what we've done all week and that's what we're trying to do. And um, and that's what, you know, the game's all about is, you know, we're getting to camp on Sunday and uh, up until the game, you know, we're all in the community and trying to make a difference. I suppose the message there is, you know, you're going to get your knocks in life and that's a message you can send out again. Like you, you win some, you lose some, you've got to keep getting up off the canvas. And next year you're going to try and win again, I suppose, if that's something. Yeah, that's right, that's right, you know, and uh, at the youth summit, one of the kids, you know, asked, you know, what's good advice, and, you know, uh, I think it was Bo said, you know, never give up, you're going to have people that will knock you, um, you know, knock you down, you just got to keep getting up and keep fighting on, and, uh, you know, I thought that was a good message, and that's what our boys did tonight, and um, that's what the boys have been doing all week, you know, we had a, a lot of promos and stuff, and like Laurie said, you know, no one wins, we did it, and uh, did it very well. About four sets of six there, we on your line, and that was manifest itself there. You could feel that. We'll try, you know, as I say, was it four sets of six? Yeah, that's right. You know, they had a, a fair bit of ball in the second half, and obviously in the first half, I think they had more, uh, ten more sets. So, um, yeah, look, it was uh, the boys showed a lot of courage to, you know, hold out, hold out them boys. So, um, yeah, like Laurie said, you know, we can't fault them for their effort. That's for sure. You get the sense that you know everyone walked away tonight, you know, with a smile on their face, feeling good about themselves. Is it the same for the players? And you know, is it the right time of the year to have have this game and kick off the year? And everyone's talking about the league for the right reasons, I suppose. And does it give you guys a bit of a you know boost into the into the season? Yeah, it does. You can say that. Look, it's, you know, we're, we're disappointed. You know, all the boys have got their heads down in the sheds about the game, but you know, I think it's a great way to kick off the year. Um, you know, you've seen the crowd, uh, you've seen the impact the boys have made throughout the week. Um, and, you know, everyone's talking about rugby league now. So, um, yeah, you know, I think this concept will be around for a long time. For yourself, James, up to the end of last year and missing out on the Four Nations, how good was it to get out there and pull on a rep jersey and just to play some footy again after your injuries? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Uh, I was sucking in the goalpost there for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, look, it was just a, a great week to be around with the boys. Um, and, you know, it's just good to be back on the on the football paddock. Um, a couple of our boys a bit busted, but uh, it comes with the territory. So, but, yeah, look, it's just great to be back on the footy paddock and uh, looking forward to um, what lies ahead. Del said last year that it was you that came up with the quarter pass and the didgeridoo. Do you have anything in the bank for this year? <laughs> nah, mate. Uh, Nah, nothing at all. It's all business. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year? Yeah, maybe. See what happens. Thank you, Thanks, John. Thanks, John.